Casey, real soon you'll be going to Hawaii for your wedding anniversary, correct? I think taking the whole family along for that would be the most fun. So that's why we'll be more than happy to come along with you. Excuse me? What are you talking about right now, Willow? I don't really enjoy all of your weird jokes lately, so could you please stop making them? This vacation is for Ed and myself to go on. Don't be so stuck up over there, Casey. It's not that big of a deal bringing this up anyway. No, actually, it is kind of a big deal. Just for the time being, could you please stop saying strange things like that? If they're meant to be jokes, they aren't that funny to me. Hey, Hawaii is really one of the most amazing places on the planet, isn't it? Coming here on vacation was the right choice to make. What? Um... Yes, I suppose Hawaii is a really amazing place. Wait, did you just say here? Did you come here as well, Willow? I sure did. I made sure to come all the way out here with you guys. What do you mean? Why would you want to come out here at the exact same time Ed and I will be celebrating our anniversary? Because I wanted to come to Hawaii. What's the big deal here? I've heard all kinds of things about this set of islands, and boy is the food good, and the beach is so beautiful. Coming all the way out here for a vacation must mean you lawyers are all making loads of money, right? Ugh, well you're not wrong. Hawaii is a very beautiful place with some really tasty food. Thank you so much. Oh, this does happen to be your guys' anniversary after all, so of course you'll be paying for me to stay here, right? I already came all the way here and found myself a very fancy hotel to stay in. Oh, I believe it's the same place that the both of you have been staying at. Oh, I am bursting with joy right now. But we're back in Maryland now, though. Things went just as you imagined, and your mom and I think the rest of your family went to and are still in Hawaii. I know that you and I have had a lot of experiences with her that have shocked us to the core, but this one takes the cake for sure. I'm glad things ended up the way I expected them to, but I'm seriously over all of them. They've always been trouble for me, but now... I know. Neither of my parents are good people, and they've been terrible to me. Always using their own kid as an ATM, forcing him to give up his earnings at times. At first, I believed that they really needed my money after I left, and that's why I was fine lending them some. But now we both know that was all a fat lie. I believed all of their stories and worked my butt off for them, giving everything I had up so that they would be okay. I even let them hurt me at times, believing that they were still my family and didn't mean any of it. I thought to myself that no matter how awful they were, they were still my parents, and I just had to bear with them. But in the end, I just turned out to be the world's biggest idiot. That's not true at all. You can't blame yourself for believing in and trusting your parents when you were younger. That's just what kids will naturally do. The idiots here are your parents, especially your mom, for crushing that kindness you would always give them. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for saying that. Had I never had you appearing in my life, I would have never noticed what was wrong and would have been abused by them for the rest of my life. Now that they're out of the state, let's you and I get to work on what we have planned. This is the whole reason I held on to that duplicate key and never threw it away. It's about time, right? It sure is. Normally there would be someone at home, but now that they're all in Hawaii, we'll be safe to go in there. This is our only chance. You and I are going to make sure they all burn in hell. That's right. We may have had to make up a trip to Hawaii to fool them all into going, but now that it is a success, let's make sure the second half of our plan works. And then we'll finally be free. You come back to Hawaii right now and pay for us. You guys must have tricked us all into coming out here, right? Hey! Are you even listening to me right now? Oh, hurry up and give me a reply right now. We can't come home unless you help us out now. Sorry about that, Willow. I was at work and didn't realize you were trying to talk with me. 
I can see you went on quite a small ramble there about how you needed our help. However, that is all which you guys deserve, correct? Excuse me? I mean, I never said that I'd be paying for you guys to stay in Hawaii, and I never even asked you guys to come in the first place. So could you please stop trying to threaten me into paying for you guys when it was all of you that decided to go? Ed and I are tired of being milked by all of you, so it's over with. What the hell? How dare you talk to your mother-in-law like that? We are your family, so it is your job to help us all out when we need it. Do you even consider yourself a person if you throw us all away like that? We're not family. You and I are nothing more than strangers. So I'm not sure what you mean by me having to help you guys out. What? As a parent, it is your duty to raise and take care of your children, correct? However, you should never expect your children to help you in return just because you're their parent. That should come naturally to the kids as long as they were raised in a way where they respect their parents enough to help them. In other words, the fact that Ed and I don't want to help you right now is because you aren't respected as his mother. Huh? You haven't even had kids of your own before, so what makes you think you can talk to me from on top of your soapbox like that? Honestly, I don't care that you're upset to hear the truth. Ed and I have both stopped trying to bear all of that crap you guys put out. Huh? Neither Ed or I approve of you anymore. Therefore, he and I are going to show you just how much we've been resenting you. Even if you're able to make it all the way back to Maryland, don't assume that any of this will be over with, okay? Now both him and I will be waiting here patiently for you guys. My goodness, you are such a scary devil woman. I can't believe my Ed would marry such a monster after everything. I'm going to have to chew Ed out later for not keeping you on a tight leash. Anyhow, you come to Hawaii right now with your money and pay for us, you devil woman. Casey, I'm so sorry. I was a bit too nasty with you yesterday, so I think I'll approach things a bit more kindly this time around. What do you want with me now? Yesterday, you seemed very hell-bent on getting me to come back out there and pay for all of you guys. Well, come on now. Oh, it's just that we all had a little bit too much fun while we've been out here. We made sure to get ourselves a suite at this hotel for the past couple of days, and we've been using room service all the time now, ordering things like caviar and champagne. We've also made sure to go to many high-end restaurants so we could enjoy the local food. We've also been having the hotel's masseuse come to our room to give us massages every night, so uh, the bill is racked up to about $30,000. And well, I didn't have the money to afford all of that, assuming you'd be paying, so I made sure to use your credit card to pay for everything. Huh? Had we not paid that all off, we would have gotten into big trouble, right? But I was able to use your best credit card to pay for everything, so we didn't have to worry about a thing in the end. This was your vacation that you planned with Ed, after all, so there should be no complaining about us enjoying it as well with your money. Thank goodness, right? I was thinking that there'd be a chance you wouldn't pay for us outright, so I made sure to take this credit card from your purse. So in other words, you're saying that you stole one of my credit cards out from my purse? Now, why would you ever say that I stole it? I was just borrowing it for a little bit, just borrowing it. I mean, there are times when you don't come forward and pay for us, right? I had to make sure there was a plan B in case you didn't want to be a good daughter-in-law. Ugh, that is it then. I've always known about you taking things like cash and credit cards out from my purse, Willow. Did you know that all of that is considered theft? Would you like to come clean and confess to what you've been doing? What the hell? Oh, you guys are my family now, so I don't have to care about all of that legal bullcrap. Hey, why don't you stop messing around right there and start taking this very seriously? What was that? I'm not as stupid as some of you may think I am. I know about how you'd always take things from my purses while I wasn't looking, and I could tell very easily when and where you'd use my credit cards. That card you have, it doesn't even work anymore. What? I assumed you would have noticed I was on to you from the start, and when I realized that my card was being used back in Hawaii still by you on all sorts of expensive things, I had it closed to make sure I wasn't charged for any of that crap. Did you not realize that someone can do that through their banking app? In other words, all of those bills you think you've paid off still have not gone through, and those businesses in the hotel will come for you. Now, if you want to avoid all of that, go back to them and use one of your own credit cards.
Th that's not going to happen. I don't have any credit cards with enough credit on them to cover all of that. I'm sure you don't. But you could use all your credit cards at once and the total amount of credit you'd get would be enough, right? Ugh! I'm sure you might say you don't have all of those cards on you now and that's fine. But there's always your husband and I know he has a credit card with a large enough limit on it to pay 30000 right now. He's used it plenty of times to pay for those golf tournaments, right? I'm sure that 30000 will max it out, but at least then you won't be stuck having the police called on you or anything for not paying, right? Oh, and when you guys do decide to come back to Maryland, don't come to me asking for any money because I am not giving you any. Goodbye now. I'm not, pl I'm not playing games here. I can't believe you tricked me into this, you old frickin' bitch whore. So you're not going to give me any money now? It's because of you that things ended up like this for us, so I'll make you pay whether you want to or not. This is my final warning to you. Pay up. Because if you don't right now, I'm going to come there and make you with all the strength I still have. So now you're threatening me with violence? Well, that's fine. I'll take the blame for you guys ending up there as well. Because compared to all the horrible things you and your husband have done to Ed and I, we're still angels. I look forward to seeing you all when you're back home. Please be prepared for us to crush you when you're back in town. We somehow made it all the way back to Maryland. Oh, Jesus. Because of you, we had to go through hell to get out of Hawaii. I'm going to have to punish you for what you've done to us right away. Ah, hello, Willow. Glad to hear you made it all home safely. Ed and I have been waiting all this time for today. Who cares that the both of you have been waiting on us? Because of you, I wasn't able to use your credit card to pay off Jack, and I ended up having to get creative. I'm going to make you pay us back for all that, so make sure you have the money to us tomorrow. You really are so energetic today. I guess you haven't taken a look inside your mailbox since coming back yet. I was kind of thinking that after you looked at what's in there, you wouldn't have time to be talking with me anymore. Huh? Oh, the mailbox? I've been away from my home for close to two weeks now, so of course I haven't taken a look inside it yet. What the hell is even in there anyway? Wh what is this? A oh, willow. So you finally got around to having a look through all your mail that was in there? I don't understand why you're asking me about all of that, though. What you've seen is what's going on now. Why did we get a file full of documents? And why is there another file in here from the courthouse and the police? What the hell have you two done since we've been gone? Wait a second, Willow. You were the one that confessed about what you'd done to me, right? You confessed to taking all those credit cards from my purse. I mean, uh, stealing all of them from my purse. I also have all the talk about how you wanted to use my limitless card on your trip over there in Hawaii, just as I was shutting it off. And all the transaction history on my cards is printed out and in that file labeled investigation documents that you have with you. But Casey, I told you that I was just borrowing those cards from you. But I never once said that I was willing to lend them to you. All of you know that rooting through someone else's purses and stealing their credit cards like that and then using them is a very bad crime to have on your permanent record. Hence why I went to the police and reported everything to them. I've heard from them that they've already started to write you up for questioning, as they would like to have a word with you so that they can get to know you better. No way! All I did was borrow those cards from you, so don't blow everything out of proportion like that. I can't be suspected for crimes that were never committed. Are you out of your freaking mind right now? How dare you try and take your mother-in-law to court like this? What the hell happened to you? Since we're family, I think we should work on a compromise here, all right? Uh, don't you have far more money than some third- so far, you've done nothing that a normal in-law would do with their son's wife. And from what I've heard from Ed about you, you're nothing like a mother either. He calls you toxic and says you're less than scum. What? Sounds like for as long as Ed can remember, you and your husband have been milking Ed dry of all his money and time. I heard about how back in middle school you guys started to complain about how you were all poor and needed his help for money, and so you forced him to become a paper boy and then would take all the money he made. And when it came to things like clubs and sports, you guys would never pay for Ed to get any jerseys or go on any club trips. 
Oh, that's because back then we were really in some financial trouble, so we didn't have a choice but to put him to work and have him give up on school-related clubs. Tell me right now what's wrong with having kids help out when us parents aren't making enough money for everything. Helping you guys out? That's right! Unlike you, who is a very well-known lawyer, this family hasn't been blessed with a lot of money. That's why we've always been having him help us out with our financial situation. The only thing he had been doing as a kid was going to school, so he had plenty of time to work for us. What's wrong with that? Shut your damn mouth right now. What the hell do you mean he only had school back then? The moment that kid got into high school, you guys forced him to start working part-time, taking away any chance he had at going out with friends, and then took all the money he made there, too. And you guys had been living far from the center of town, so Ed had to ride two hours both ways on his bike after getting out of school to go to work. And that was... Hey, we didn't want the kid to start thinking he could go to any of those fancy and expensive schools after high school. Kids take a lot of money to raise and feed. Someone like you who's never had to raise a boy for 18 years would never understand what I mean. So how about you stop talking to me like you know everything? I want to know then. If you guys have always had such financial difficulties, then why have you always dressed in high brand clothing and worn diamond encrusted jewelry? What? Your house seems to be filled with all kinds of really expensive furniture, and even your husband's man cave is decked out with the newest sound systems and TV. I've even found documents in your drawer for all your watches and rings and bracelets stating that the gems in them are real and that the gold is all 24 karat. And when I had a look at some of those receipts in there, they all had the date on them, printed back when Eddie was still in school. Why do you know about all of that? How did you even get into my drawer? While you were all away on that trip to Hawaii, Ed and I went into your house and had a look around. And after looking through your husband's office there, we learned that he has been making way more than you guys seem to say he made. I wouldn't call him a millionaire, but I would never, ever call you both poor and in need of financial aid. And after the rooting around I did in your desk and drawers, we both saw that you've been well off from the start. You guys are monsters. Using your son to do all that work so you could have extra cash for all your crap? Why does it matter to you what we did to our boy? I was the one that gave birth to him, not you. Also, this is exactly what Ed wanted to do when he was young. What? Had he really been against what we wanted from him, he could have just run away, but he never did, did he? In other words, Ed was totally fine working for us. Are you freaking kidding me? Ah! You want to know why he never ran away? Because he was a kid. And all you guys did to him was lie about how if he left your house, he would die out there because nobody else would care for him. And whenever he'd keep even a penny for himself to use on one of those horse rides at the supermarket, you kicked him out of the house for a few hours. There were even days you guys wouldn't feed him as punishment. And when he was finally working full time and making a salary, you guys started formulating new plans in order to wring as much money out of him as possible. He had never been able to run away from you guys then either because he had been raised to believe you guys were his only chance of staying alive, even as an adult. None of that was what Ed wanted. All of that was what a scared little boy had to do in order to not be hurt by you guys anymore. Also, due to what you had all done to him, Ed was led to believe that he had to sacrifice himself in order for the rest of you to be happy. What? He assumed that by never leaving any of you guys and starting a life of his own, he'd be protecting you guys from hurting someone else or yourselves. That's what you turned Ed into. A man with no will of his own, thinking he was only on this planet for your guys' sake. He has done everything he could in order to make sure nobody else got hurt. And that is why he has never seen you or your husband as his parents. Because all he's felt like to you is your slave. Your sacrifice. Well, even if some of that is true, it's his job as our son to take care of all of us, right? He should live his whole life doing everything for his parents, not expecting anything in return. Also, my son has never ever been the type to talk about his parents in a bad way at all, so I don't know what kind of things you're forcing him to listen to. I think you're trying to brainwash our kid into thinking we've been bad parents. Stop screwing around and reply to me right now, you brainwashing bitch of an animal! Ugh. Once again, you're calling me names and acting like the victim. I haven't done anything at all, alright? Ed came to learn that both of his parents are freaks and don't deserve to be called his mom and dad anymore. What? 
By the time he and I got married, he was already a changed man. And here's something you probably never knew. Ed and I had been dating for a long time before we got married. He told me he didn't want to marry me because he was afraid of how horrible his parents would be to me. I'm not going to blame him for saying that, though, because he was exactly right about you two. I mean, you turned out to be the kind of woman who thought it'd be okay to steal your daughter-in-law's credit cards and use them. But even after so many times of telling me he was afraid of marrying me, he eventually went through with it. Do you know why that is? I have no idea why. I'm assuming that he was waiting for a better woman to come along, but no one else did, so he had to settle for you. <laughs> nope, he married me in order to get his revenge. Revenge on you. Huh? He always knew about how I had become a lawyer and that I had a lot of friends in the legal system. That's why I asked him one day if he'd want to get revenge for what you all had done to him. He said of course he'd want to. So for the past 10 years since we had our wedding, we've been slowly gathering all the evidence of what's happened and creating a portfolio we both like to call Scorched Earth. And well, after a decade has gone by, we finally feel that we can't stand you all anymore. So now we're going to show you guys what 10 years of evidence gathering and malice looks like. I, I'm not playing around anymore. I told you that. I already know that you've brainwashed my Ed because he would never want to get revenge, especially on his parents. He's always been such a loving boy and would do everything we said. He's on our side and would never fall to yours. <laughs> You've really done it now, Ed. Why the hell would you make that bitch into your wife? Have you been listening to all the crap she's been saying this whole time? If you understand that she's being a total asshole, then you come over to our place right now and pay off your dad's credit card. This is all your fault, after all, because as the husband, you're supposed to keep that nasty bitch on a leash. But you haven't been. Take responsibility for this right now. Is that all you want to say to me? And is that the kind of thing you should be saying to your own son? I'm your mother, so of course I can say that. Now you get your ass over here and pay up. Don't tell me you stooped so low now because of her. That you're not even going to give your own parents any more money, even though you're indebted to them. Go ahead and say that I've stooped that low because I have. What? The only person that I consider my family now is sitting right next to me and making sure I'm okay as I say these things. So go ahead and keep talking to me with that toxic mouth of yours because I'm not going to back down any longer. I'm cutting ties to all of you. That's the choice I've made. Are you... are you about to rebel against your own parents? What kind of disobedient child are you? Say whatever the hell you'd like about me, you asshat. I'm not playing around anymore with you. In order to make sure you all don't cause any more harm to those that are just trying to live their lives, I'm going to crush you under my feet and make sure you can never move again. Do you have any idea what you're saying to your own mother? My mother? <laughs> I don't even think of you as my mother. And to you, I'm no son but your wallet. Your... Purse, your ATM. Well, that's not true. It's not? Then why do we have evidence showing you completely taking all your attention away from me when you realize that Casey is making more money than me? You and Dad always lied to me about how our family was dirt poor and would use me to make extra change that you could spend on jewelry. Hey, when was the last time you actually talked to me about anything besides money? Do you even know how old I am right now? I'm sure you don't know the answer to that. Th there's no parent that would ever get their child's age wrong. Then tell me how old I am right now. Um, just a while ago you graduated from high school. There it is. I'm in my 30s now, okay? And that just further proves the fact that you've only seen me as your wallet or ATM. Whatever, though. I've had enough watching you flounder. You're not my mother and you haven't been anything to me since I got away from you all. I'm going to cut ties to all of you and change my last name to Casey's. That way I never have to be related to any one of you horrible people again. Huh? You're cutting ties to all of us? You? You're really going to throw away a family name that your parents gave you? I shiver at the sound of someone else calling me by the same last name you all have. I could vomit right now just by thinking about it. 
And don't think this all ends with me just throwing your family name away. What? After all of that time wasted having to live as your wallet, I'm going to make sure you pay me back for it. I also happen to know about how you love to steal money from other people besides just your family. We have evidence of that after you took that trip to Hawaii. So in order to make sure this earth is not tainted by your guys' toxic waste, Casey and I are sending you to hell. I'll make sure you're let in through those gates. That's the last thing I'm going to do as your son. Uh, wait a sec, please. If you guys take us to court over that, we'll be in big trouble. We did a very good job hiding all of that as well. I promise to never do anything to you guys again and apologize for what's all happened, so please don't do that to us, okay? We've been with you all your life as family, right? So why not let us go? The only reason I've stayed with you these past 10 years was to make sure I had enough evidence to send you through the gates of hell. I'm the kind of garbage that finds joy in watching his parents suffer. Bye forever now, bitch. No way, no! I don't want to go to prison. Please just look past all of this. Hey, Ed, are you even listening to me? I heard. All of them were taken to jail by the police. Apparently some of the things in that house, like the gemstones and the bags, were all stolen from other people my mom ran into. I'm sure even after handing all those things back to their original owners, they won't be getting off easy. I can't believe it though. How could they do all of that to random people and still not think of stopping? I swear, they're all just monsters that need to be put away forever in order to avoid this sort of thing from happening again. I want you to know that I am very proud of what you've done. I think we can finally say that we've put an end to their terror. Yes, I believe we have. I think I'm going to be indebted to you forever now because of all that you've done for me since we got married. What? Indebted to me? I haven't done anything that fancy to require you to pay me back. Most of what ended up happening to those people was going to get them eventually. I don't think that's the case, though. I was going to become a slave to the family for the rest of my life, but you came into it and asked me if I wanted revenge for everything they'd done. Had it not been for that, who knows how much more of my money I would have had to give them, or if I'd even still be alive. So, I am forever grateful, Casey. Come on, you don't have to be so dramatic about it. All I've done is help the man I love out a little. And having seen that you were treated so badly by them and heard all of those horror stories, I wanted to make sure you got that revenge because I sympathized with you a lot. Actually, I empathize with you because I had to deal with their toxic crap these past 10 years while married to you. So after a decade of hate being built up by them, it feels wonderful to finally hear that they're in the justice system's hands now. <laughs> that sounds like the woman I married. Hey, Casey, I've put a bit of thought into this. I want to protect you for the rest of my life. I get that I'm not the strongest man in the world considering I had to be raised like an ATM instead of a man. But I want to have kids with you and protect us all. That means I want to really make you my woman. What are you talking about right now? You and I have been married for 10 years now and you've shown me just how wonderful and protective of a husband you are. I know that you hadn't ever experienced what a family was with them, but you and I have been family for a decade now, and there's nothing that's going to take you away from me. Both of Ed's parents, as well as his aunt and uncle, were sent to prison to spend the next 15 years there due to all the horrible crimes they committed. They had stolen from a total of 42 people, as well as scammed another 13 people, which ended them having to pay such a large amount of money that they had no chance of doing, and would most likely have to go into major debt for had they not chosen the path of prison time. There were so many cases against them that it took one whole month before that conclusion was met, and boy was it a long wait for Ed and I. As for myself and Ed, we've both finally been met with the gift of freedom and peace. Of course, I don't have to worry about things like money going missing from my purse or random credit card transactions happening. But it's just amazing how wonderful life can be when you're not being used for your money all the time. 
Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.